Hey guys, the King Hero here, and today I am doing a massive tutorial with for sound design. So today I will be showing you this like shark type kind of lead. Let me show you it. You know, something he might have in a song or something. No. Alright, so it's pretty simple. So what you want is to go to Stronium here. And of course, first you want to initiate the patch. So first you go to Stronium at the wave tip position, like here. Then intensity and amp all the way up. Make sure to put it in bend minus, and then have it go halfway through filter or all the way if you want. It doesn't really matter. It'll make a difference because the filter two is off. All right. Next, you want this multiplex at the wave table position right here and the intensity almost all the way up but as you can see there's just a tiny bit off then amp almost all the way up but not quite and then just leave that alright next we're gonna go over here to this DAF filter put the cutoff right here right above halfway just a little bit and then the resonance almost all the way up but not quite again then mix all the way to one so we don't hear any two and Keep it like this so it doesn't pass through. Alright. Voicing. The unisono is 3. It's polyphonic. And the trigger is always pan position. This just makes the sound a little bit fuller. Put on like some right here. Because when since we won't be able to have a dimension expander, this helps. Then hit the oscillator. And go and restart via gate. This is really important. And I like to keep it around like right after the zero, but that's his preference. You can just mess around with that until you find something you like. Okay. Um, uh, the envelope is pretty simple tiny attack, um, stain all the way up, and then tiny uh, release. And then the K doesn't matter since there's just a stain. Okay, and then. Um, Next up, the next part, most important part is the chorus. Dry or wet, mm, a little, quite a bit past, um, past middle, sort of, right all the way up, an offset and depth right in the middle. Next reverb, uh, dry or wet and size right in the middle, and then density and color all the way up. That's pretty important. And then just to make it sound more like short, drop the low, drop the boost a little bit, and then raise the frequency to get like a little cut. And then the high shelf is just a tiny boost. So you have, should have something like this. No. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick video. And so um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want some more of these videos. You know, they're really simple and easy for me to do. So um, thanks.